Good day everyone, Complaining Gamer here. It is a great time to be excited about the progression we're seeing with Nintendo Switch emulation. More features being added, more games booting, performance increases and more, and all at breakneck speed. Yuzu is keeping up the trend with its latest developments and they are set to change the way we deal with Switch content forever. If you're unfamiliar with the decryption process of your encrypted Switch games, or perhaps you've seen an interesting file type in .xci format, it currently requires several programs and processes before being emulator ready. Yuzu is about to change all that with its ability to natively load the XCI format which games have widely been stored in, thus eliminating the need for temperamental software and streamlining the process of playing your backups quicker. Next to XCI we also have NCA, another format which requires decrypting, however Yuzu will also implement native NCA compatibility, ultimately saving time and headaches for the end user. What this means is, if you're new to Switch emulation or experienced, things are about to get a lot simpler. Alongside that, game icons are also set to appear, increasing the aesthetics of your Yuzu experience. Yuzu has also taken further strides in 3D and games booting, namely in system seller Octopath Traveler. Now, before you explode, it currently boots and loads the logo, so we aren't in-game yet. Octopath Traveler runs on the Unreal Engine and is a fully 3D game hiding under a mask of 2D elements. Like with all emulator development, patience is required before we can expect to see any gameplay. Following that, we now have Yuzu going in-game into a fully 3D environment in One Piece Unlimited World Red. A big leap for the emulator and a critical milestone which you should definitely be excited for. Now, the broken vertices are a thing nightmares are made of, but naturally that will be refined over time. In-game mileage will vary depending on your CPU horsepower. For now, performance is somewhat irrelevant. What we're looking for is emulation accuracy, and this is certainly a huge breakthrough. Yuzu is also about to implement audio, just adding that extra layer getting us closer to the immersion we want. Following that, improvements continue to be made to the dynamic recompiler that translates the Switch's ARM CPU instructions into your PC's native x86 instructions, which when able to be fully implemented, will greatly improve performance. For now, it's a work in progress. Alongside all these improvements, you're also going to be experiencing more and more titles running at full speed, similar to the improvements seen in Sonic Mania. A great example of this is Minecraft Story Menu running at 60 FPS with perfect audio. Even with all those improvements, there's yet another incredible addition to the Yuzu arsenal, and that is the ability to now boot into Unity-based games, whereas they previously wouldn't, such as Snipper Clips and Pokemon Quest. Naturally, accuracy and speed will develop more and more, and I highly encourage you to try games you love with each new build that's released, because you might be surprised the next time you boot that game. So there it is, a July progress report summary for Yuzu. Go over to their relevant social media links provided and show some love for their great work. Leave your ideas, thoughts and comments down below. Complaining Gamer social media links are also there. If you enjoyed the content, leave a like. If you didn't dislike and to keep up to date with all things emulation, subscribe and hit that bell icon. I'll catch you in the next one.